yeah. it's not just mobile players that are here at Mobile World Congress. There are many different services and, and companies that specialize in infrastructure as well yes. as apps that want yes. to get their application or their, um, their business on the mobile phone. Talk to us about that opportunity. So this is really an ecosystem show now. Uh, yes, of course, there's all the mobile uh, players, operators, handset makers, and, and infrastructure makers. Uh, and but, but there's car companies. Uh, Renault Nissan is is here this year. We always have the CEO of one of the big yeah, uh, car companies. To as well. Oh, yeah. wonderful! So he'll be speaking with you. He'll be pleased. Uh, we have people in the financial services sector, in the health sector. We have all sorts of applications, platforms. It, it's really becoming a show where you can get everything. But if there's one launch to watch for our viewers, what do you think it will be? Ha, huh, one launch, there's many launches. One of the trends we'll talk about will be 5G. It won't be launched, which is why I was hesitating because we're still a few years from having commercial 5G. But there will be a number of discussions around 5G. We're in the 4G era now. 50% uh, of the people in the US are using uh, 4G, but only 10% in Europe and, and the rest of the world is catching up. Uh, but we will start to see what 5G could be. And 5G will be a reality in 2020, uh, something like that. Yeah. Something that many of us tech enthusiasts are looking forward to. But of course, yes. the big risk in all of this, Anne, is security, how do you ensure as we now use our mobile phone to make payments, to transact, to stay connected with our family and friends, how do you ensure that that data is staying encrypted and, and safe? I think that's a phenomenally important question. And mobile operators are working on this. We have a press announcement uh, this morning around the solution we call Mobile Connect, which is exactly designed to make sure your data stays on your phone, but you can use the authentication uh, that exists on mobile networks uh, and on the SIM card uh, to help you uh, prove who you are without sharing what you don't want to share. So you can prove who you are to your doctor or to your social network or, or to your payment company or, or when you want to buy something. But you can keep your mobile phone number, for example, private because you don't want to be spammed as a result of that. And it's a trend uh, that we will continue to watch. Uh, we will continue to watch and you'll have more announcements on All this. Right. And thank you for kicking off the Thanks event so with much. us.